posture with this or not is to find a dowel or something straight. In this case, all we found was a shovel. What's up, YouTube? Danny here, and I'm here with my friend Holly. Hi. And we are gonna do some ankle weighted booty work and some adductor and abductor work for you guys today. So the first thing we're doing today is a little bit of warm-up exercise. We're doing some front swings and some back swings with our legs just to kind of get the hips moving and the rotator cuffs moving and um, just kind of get everything warmed up, get the blood flowing, get that movement in there, and then we'll move on to the workout. And you can do these with or without weights, whatever you're comfortable with. Here, hands and knees, one leg out behind you. She's got ankle weights on right now, those are one pound weights. And she's just lifting up her back leg, squeezing her booty, squeezing that glute. She's got a flat back, and you want to concentrate on keeping your core tight while you're lifting. Elbows need to be pretty straight, and you want to keep that good form with your shoulders too. We're not looking to arch the back and do a crazy kick. It's just enough to squeeze the glutes and come back down. And if you want to pause at the top with your boots, that'll give you another a booty burn. So we're not trying to do this. We're not looking for that big arch. Back flat, up and squeeze the booty. Up and squeeze the booty. Something to take a note of here, remember, she's got her hips pretty square. You wanna be lifting up square. You don't wanna move your hips to try to lift, lift your leg up. Notice that her hands are even, her shoulders are even and parallel to the ground. And you can see from this angle that she is keeping her hips very, very square. So your hips should be square when you're on both hands and knees. And then as you lift your leg up to the back, just your legs should move, your hips should not move. They should not open or extend. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do are some move kickbacks with the weights. And again, you're gonna start on your hands and knees, and instead of taking a leg back straight, you're gonna go dead legs, which should be bent 90 degrees. And again, flat back, hands parallel, shoulders parallel, and they're gonna be kicks. So they're gonna be kind of like pumped up, and this is just gonna be a constant All right, so here's a modified position that Holly is showing us here. Holly has some back complications that a lot of us have dealt with. So if you have any sort of back issue that you're dealing with, go down to your elbows and you'll still be able to feel that booty burn. You really want to focus on keeping those hips square and getting that leg to go straight up in the air as well as keeping the bent knee. If you're having to extend out too far or arch your back, that's incorrect. So be careful of your form, and if you need to readjust your position, then do so. All right, number three, we're gonna work some adductors, which are inner thigh, right in here, and then we, yeah. Adductors and abductors. So your abductors are on the outside of your thigh, your adductors are on the inside. So we're gonna be laying down for this, one side or the other, and you can be up propped on one elbow or you can lay all the way down, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go up on one elbow for now. And the first thing we're gonna do is the right leg adductor. So adductor is on the inside. I haven't found a good way to memorize this or a catchy way, you just have to remember which one is which. So you're gonna prop your left knee behind your leg, about a 90 degree angle, and then you're going to just lift up the right leg. You're gonna lift up and down. And up and down. And up and down. 
And trust me, you do not need heavy ankle weights to get a good workout with this. I can already feel it in that abductor. Holly's showing this from the other side now, and she's also pointed out that she feels in her left leg on, or really either leg, she feels it on both sides. She feels a little bit in the adductor and the abductor where we're focusing more on the adductor. So don't feel like it's not normal to feel it on both sides, depending on what your level of muscular development is and how often you work your adductors and your adductors. All right, Holly's showing an alternative way to put your leg. So instead of placing that bent knee behind the straight leg, it's in front of the straight leg. And she feels it more in her adductors this way. So try both ways out. And if one way works better than the other for you, go with that way where you feel and burn more. All right, next one, call this the fire hydrant. It's really attractive. Just get it done. So hands and knees again to the start position. And kind of like a dog, you just lift your leg one at a time. Up like you don't want on the fire hydrant. So it's a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. So up, hold, and up. Up, hold, and up. You may make sure your leg is coming straight out to the side. Alright. Well, I'll keep this going. So where your where your leg is, I want you to keep that 90 degree angle the whole time. So when your knee moves, your foot moves. So it should be coming out and down together. Uh, okay. Yep, out and down together. Okay. Better. Good. Okay. There we go. All one fluid piece. for a quick second. If you train with improper posture, then you are going to live in your daily life with improper posture. And a good way to figure out if you have proper posture with this or not is to find a dowel or something straight. In this case, all we found was a shovel. But have somebody place it right along with your spine. And if their head is down, ask them to bring their head and their neck up to the dowel or whatever flat object you have going on. And that is going to put their head and their neck in line with the rest of their spine. So if she has her head down, put your head down, then she's going to train her muscles to have a head forward position. And that's not what she wants because as we all get older, then we're going to walk around with this head forward and hunched shoulders position. And it's only going to get worse with time. So to prevent the improper posture as we all get older, you want to train as best as possible with proper posture. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Fantastic. The fire hydrant position. But instead of starting with your leg bent, you're gonna have one leg out to the side and keep it straight. Yeah, this one's right. <laughs> <laughs> Holly's here and was like, are you sure? I'm sure. I'm sure it sucks, but I'm sure it works really well. So this again is gonna work the outer thigh or your abductor. And you wanna try to keep your shoulders flat and square and your hips square too. You're going to bring your legs up and down, and up and down, and up and down. And if you cannot start off with a weight that is absolutely fine to take the angle waist off, this one is going to be tough. Up and down, up and down. It is very common to feel your knee working on the opposite side as well. It does take a lot of balance to do this, so if you are falling over, it's okay. It takes time. It takes a lot of practice.
Okay, so before Holly starts these, she's put her leg out and I want to show that we want to have these 90 degree angles again. A little bit more, a little bit further up. Okay, yep, so we want to be at a 90 degree angle. We want to just lift that leg straight up and down and up and down. Okay, there you go. Okay, so one other thing I want to show Casey with this, when your leg is out, it should also be at a 90 degree angle, so you want it out front, you don't want it out behind. You're not trying to do a back kick. This isn't supposed to focus on the glutes. It's going to hit them, but it's not focusing on the glutes. So you want to focus on that, that adductor. So it should just be up and down. Up and down. Up and down. So you're going to feel it in here. You will feel it in the glute in the back, but it's going to be primarily focused on the outside. All right, so Holly, can you give anyone some words of advice or thoughts on, Goodness. on the, the workout that we just did? Stick with it. Start in small numbers if you can't. Proper posture is best. And it's a good workout. Do <laughs> so you recommend it? I recommend it. Awesome. We've some good changes over the last month. Fantastic. Make sure if you've got some time and you want to get in a good workout at home, uh, give this a shot and let us know how you like it. Thanks so much, and you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching. Make sure if you have not already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss further content. And give this video a thumbs up so you can show some support for my channel. I really do appreciate it. Comment below with your favorite exercises that involve ankle weights and I will love to incorporate them into my next video. Thanks so much and I will see you guys soon.